Hey guys, welcome to Surfing Show. I'm Noel Salas, and today I've got some surf tips for you beginner intermediate. I'd also like to call it that lower level intermediate surfer that's trying to get to that intermediate level. I think you guys are gonna like this. Sit back, get your favorite drink, enjoy the show. Now the first place I wanna start is the natural progression from the beginner to the lower level intermediate surfer. And I highly recommend as a beginner that we start on a longboard. This is a nine foot board, it's got that length the width and the thickness, that's gonna give you the stability and the ease to catch waves and pop to your feet and just get comfortable to stand up. Now, as you get better at that and you learn how to angle those boards, you start to progress in ride boards that are a little bit shorter. So if that's nine foot, this is 710. Now, this isn't gonna be as stable because it's narrower, it's thinner, and there's less overall foam but still very forgiving and easy to catch waves, pop to your feet, and now it's gonna turn a little bit faster. And that's the progression I'm talking about, that as you get comfortable surfing, catching waves, learning to control the board, rotating around, paddling, and get into a wave, the way you get better at surfing is you surf often, you gotta put the water time in, and then you progressively go shorter on your board. Some of the things that I've seen over the time, and I even remember as a youngster, we want to progress faster than we should. So I might have caught a few waves on a nine foot board, but I just kept looking at the high performance short board and saying, how do I get on that one? And the natural progression, in my opinion, is something that we gradually go into the smaller boards. We're not in a rush to get to the smaller boards because that could hinder our progression and then we're making it more difficult than it should be. But going from the 710 to the next level down is where I really believe is the most important step that whether you learn on a regular hard top board or a soft top, you want to jump to the right board that's coming from the 710 length and that kind of flotation to like a hipto crypto depending on your weight, your size, and that kind of stuff, you still want to keep those boards loaded with foam. Look, if you're not catching waves, you're not having fun, and you're not progressing your surfing because you're not spending enough time standing up on the board. So the Hipto Crypto, Seaside, California Twin, Ultra Joe, I mean, I'm going to put a list of boards in the YouTube description field below that I think are great boards for you guys to pick from from a lot of different board brands. Now, when I talk about the Hipto Crypto, the reason I like it, maybe at like 40 liters for that person that's coming off of being a beginner into that lower level um, intermediate surfer is over here, these boards are starting to get boring for you. You're, it's taking way too long to turn. You don't feel challenged by them. So stepping down to maybe like a six foot Hipto Crypto that has 40 liters, we still got the flotation. It's got that wider hybrid outline helping you get the stability under your front foot, catch waves easily. And now, because it's so much shorter, let's say six foot, coming from a 710, we're gonna to start to turn that board a lot faster. And it's gonna be exciting for you. Now, there is a bit of a learning level as you transition down from the nine foot to the 710 to the 60 or 63. It's not gonna be easy at first, but the more you do it, you get a little bit more used to it. And when you jump from the 710 down to like the 60 or 63 Hipto Crypto or Seaside, it's gonna feel like the board wants to move on you without a lot of effort compared to these type of boards. And this is one of the questions I get asked a bunch is when, do, when am I ready to step down from that Hipto Crypto 
into more of a performance level surfboard. And the way I see it is we don't have to go into this high performance outline to go to the next level. We could just maybe go to a Hipto Crypto that might be like 35 liters. So it's a little bit shorter, but that hybrid outline is still going to be working in my favor where it's got less rocker. The width in the nose area is going to help me still catch more waves. It's going to be nice and stable under the front foot. And this is a great natural progression to go from that lower level intermediate to starting to creep into that intermediate level range. Now I want to identify what a low level intermediate surfer is surfing like. From my opinion, I believe they've graduated from that longer board. They're riding that hybrid outline shape. They can pop to their feet, catch waves easy, whether it's front side or back side. They're learning to use that inside rail and they're able to pump the board down the line, get some speed and occasionally throw in a little turn here and there. So backside might be a little bit more difficult for that lower level intermediate surfer. Most of the folks that I work with, they like going front side. And what they really enjoy is feeling the speed from the board. And then for that turn to be sharper, they've got to get on more responsive equipment. Now, instead of just talking about how to surf better and achieve the different um, low level intermediate to that intermediate level surfing, I want to introduce you guys to one of my students. His name's Eli. Now, Eli lives in Wyoming and he's a vascular surgeon and he takes a surf trip basically once a month. And his home wave is Waco Surf, surfing the expert level wave. And the way we started is he signed up for some virtual video coaching lessons. He sent over some clips. We started talking about the board, his weight, skill level, his height, and it gave us a formula. Now, I didn't come up with a formula, but it does work really well. And I have some notes on Eli here. Um, he's riding his surf skate four to five days a week, really working on trying to hit rail to rail and learning how to gain speed because that's the only form of surfing he has on the concrete until he gets to the, the wave pool or visiting me for some lessons in the ocean. Now, he started on a Hipto Crypto 5'9", 32.3 liters. Now he's 5'10", he's 155 pounds, and I took his weight and divided it by six. So 155 pounds divided by six gives me 25.83 liters. Now, I would say that's a good volume range for a pro to expert level surfer. And I would say most pros or experts would be riding 24 to 26 liters. So for an advanced surfer, I believe 26 to 28 liters would be ideal. And then for that intermediate, we're looking at 29 to 31 liters. And since he's that lower level intermediate, I bumped into 32 to 34 liters. So his 5.9 Hipto at 32.3 liters is right on the money. Now he also had a super board that's called the Sling and he, that's 5.7 at 32 liters. And he caught some waves at BSR and sent me him surfing on that board, uh, the Super Sling and the footage to me, the board's carrying good speed he is surfing very diagonal, so the length and the, and the volume of the board and his technique really hindered him from surfing top to bottom. So some of the adjustments that we made, and I know this to be true about most lower level intermediate surfers, intermediate surfers, even advanced surfers need to move that back foot back all the way on the traction pad or all the way back on the tail block to get a more precise top to bottom turn. Now, even if your foot's all the way back and he's riding boards that are, have this kind of volume and length in the pool, it will still struggle to go top to bottom. And the technique I'm talking about is he never would go to the bottom and look up at the lip to do more vertical turns. He was always looking more down the line and that wave's a bit faster and he could only get a couple turns before that wave was over. Now, when he came to visit me, 
here and we did some lessons in the ocean, we spent a couple hours, got him on some good waves, writing that hit though crypto, I saw that he could catch his waves easily. I saw him popping to his feet, getting down the line. And I really felt like we need to move that back foot back. But I also felt like that board had a little bit too much surface area in the front and his skill level of moving that board I wanted to talk to him about the risk factor of going down in volume and maybe even changing the shape to more of a performance board. So we tried a sci-fi and the sci-fi came in 510 at 30.70 liters. That's the original sci-fi. And I believe you'll see on the footage that he caught that the board's way more responsive now. One of the things on the Hypto Crypto that I noticed is that he wasn't compressing and extending very well. He would kind of just take an athletic posture and turn more rail to rail without using compressing and extending to get speed and maximize using the whole wave to get where he wanted to go on the wave. But when he stepped down to that sci-fi, that's when he started to surf a little more top to bottom. And it really comes down to how do you know you're at the level to progress from that lower level intermediate to that beginning, like really be an intermediate surfer is the way the board's reacting to how you're surfing. Now, one of the things I've been working on with Eli, especially front side, is that when he goes to do a bottom turn is he's compressing into that turn and he's extending out of it. So he's pushing off that board to gain speed and the lower the volume and the more um, progressive of a line we can draw and the more sensitive the equipment, he's finding it easier to generate that speed. And especially at a wave like Waco Surf, I'm seeing excellent progressive surfing from him in a short amount of time. Now I've been talking about board size, how sensitive a board is, being able to do sharper turns. It's not that you have to run right out and change your board length. I believe you can manipulate the board a bit with the different fin options and templates you have. So if a board's feeling loose, I talk about all this all the time, the best way to tighten that board up and give it a little bit more stability and control is put in a raked fin. The more rake you have, the more it'll draw out the turns. I find it that it will help stabilize a board a little bit and make you feel like you have a little bit more control, it offers more resistance, and you'll push a little bit harder through your turns. Now let's say you're riding a little bit bigger of a board and it's feeling tight and you wanna make it looser. That's when you can go to a neutral template which has good amount of rake, but it's a little bit more upright. And it's kinda of like the best between carving and pivot, kinda of getting into the lip quick. And then if that still feels a bit tight, you can go with a pivot fin. And this is just a really upright template that will even take um, a bigger board that's kind of taking longer to do um, a quick turn. Just put in a good pivot template. It'll get you into the lip a lot quicker and really loosen up the board. Now, the last recommendation, and I experienced this quite a bit, especially on the Hypto Crypto, is that I put in the twin plus trailer setup, I've got the drive and the hold from the side fins and then running a good little stabilizer in the back still gives me something to push off of. And the board was nice and stable and it took a board like the Hitto Crypto and loosened it up because it has that round pintail, even in the bigger surf, this is really fun. So guys, you can change a bit of the characteristic of the board just by the fin templates, and the fin setups you choose. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode and these surf tips to help you surf better and have more fun. Now I'm gonna put a bunch of links in the YouTube description field below on our How to Surf Better tutorials. We now have them as surf lessons on our website. You can also find those Surf Better tutorials on our Patreon page and become part of our family. And we actually talk about each topic bottom turns, cutbacks, where it gets real specific on how you can progress your surfing. Now we also offer surfboard consulting, 
where we'll talk about equipment. The wave you surf at home will get you dialed, get you on the right equipment so you can start progressing your surfing and have more fun. We also offer a VIP lessons. We're doing surf skate lessons. Our mission and goal is to help you have more fun. Look, if you like the show, subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss an episode, and give us a thumbs up if you like our content. Until next time, we'll see you in the water. Bye-bye.